today I'm going to show you how to get this pretty blue, green, and gold peacock eye look. If you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so you're just going to go in with an eyeshadow primer. I am using NYX High Definition High Definition Eyeshadow Base. You just put that all over the lid and on your lower lash line. Then I'm going in with a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk, which is number 604. And I'm just putting that right in the center of my lid. And then I'm going to blend it out using my ring finger. And I'm just putting this down because um, it'll help make the colors a little bit brighter. Even if you don't keep it that stark white, if you blend it out a bit, it'll still help the colors show up a bit better. Um, so you're just going to blend that out using your ring finger all over the lid. And then I am going in with a MAC eyeshadow color. Um, it's a really pretty green and it's like a shimmery, it's got a little bit of... Uh, green sparkle in it and it's feeling fresh and it was from their uh, Hey Sailor line so I don't know if this is part of their permanent range or not but it's just a pretty green I'm sure you can find something else green like that and then I'm taking that on a flat shader brush and I was originally using the Urban Decay shadow brush but I decided that I didn't like that one so I switched um, to a MAC brush and that is a MAC 252 two I believe um, and mine has a purple handle and like a gold um, part on it and that's just because it was a seasonal brush I got it for out of a little Christmas set I think so it's also got the short handle but you just take that pack the green color on and put it all over the center of your lid um, you don't need to be too too precise with it because you're gonna end up blending it out uh, but just pack it all along the middle right there I was listening to music, so I had a little sing there. Um, okay, then I'm going in with my Smashbox, um, the Masterclass palette, and that's the first one, not the second one. And I'm going in with this dark blue color called Azure, and I'm just going to take that on a fluffy brush, a fluffy blending brush. Um, and that was a Makeup Geek Stiff Dome brush, I believe. Um, but just whatever fluffy blending brush you have. And I put that all on my outer lid, and I'm going to blend that up a bit um, over the green, like in the crease. Um, so windshield wiper motions, a little bit of swirling. I did a little bit of swirling on the um, right on the outer corner, um, but just however you like to put it on. Um, sorry if I keep like looking up. I have my windows open, and I keep thinking I see people walking in the backyard, but I don't. So just being a little paranoid. Um, so anyway, so just blend that all throughout uh, the crease and on that outside of your eyelid there, and you will be good. And then next, I'm taking a MAC pigment in the color Melon, and this one's obviously kind of older. They have new packaging on these now. Um, I've had this for a long time, and it'll last you forever. It's this really pretty... Um, sort of gold with a red sort of an undertone to it um, which makes it seem a bit orange but it's gold it's really pretty um, and I'm just taking that on a flat shader brush um, I am using in this one um, the Mac one which my number wore off so I'm not sure what it is it looks purple on screen because it's dirty because I used it last when I did a purple look but um, just take that color and pack it all on the inner part of your eyelid um, and then I'm just going back over with a little bit of the um, green again just to help blend that out and make it a bit more vibrant and then I'm going in with just a fluffy brush and that's just a Smashbox brush I got it is like in like a gift so I don't even think it doesn't even have a number on it but just any fluffy brush to help blend all that out um, and then I'm going back in with my Smashbox um, Masterclass palette, and I am taking the color Bear, which is actually part of their like uh, eyebrow colors at the bottom. But I am using the color Bear just to sort of blend out a bit um, those colors at the top, make the transition a little nicer. And you can use any brush for that. I was using the Mac brush again, the flat shader brush, but whatever you want. Um, and then you're gonna go in. 
um, into your face. And I just used, um, I've got a Benefit Play Stick and mine is in the color um, Spin the Bottle. And so I just took a little bit of that and rubbed it, it smells good, sorry, um, and <laughs> did a couple streaks on my face. Um, and then I'm just going to blend that in and I use a Real Techniques um, Expert Face Brush. Just a dense, like, buffing brush. I love this brush, and it's, like, only $10 or something like that. So that brush is great. But just you're going to buff that all in all over your skin. I didn't use a primer on my skin today. Um, obviously, you can if you want to. I just didn't. I didn't feel like it. So I just used the foundation. and Just buff that all over so you feel like you've got pretty good coverage. And then if you feel like you need to, you can go in with more. Um, I used an eye uh, brightener next, so this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. Um, this is just in the color brightener. Um, so I just twisted it up, did it um, underneath my eyes, on the center of my forehead, um, on my cupid's bow, and just a little bit on my chin. Um, and then I just used my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, my foundation brush again, um, just to buff all that in. Do it however you want. You can skip this step if you want, but I like it. Um, then I just needed a little bit of concealer. I've got a couple like blemishes. So I went in with my Bobbi Brown Concealer. Um, it's a corrector in Extra Light Bisque. And I just took that on my ring finger and put it on a couple of spots that I thought needed a bit of extra coverage. And then I went in with that and blended that out with the Real Techniques Domed Shadow Brush. Um, obviously, you can use your foundation brush again if you want. Do whatever you like. I like to use this to blend out my concealer. Um, but however you like to do it. And then I wasn't I wasn't really feeling it. I didn't like the way my gold was transitioning into my green. So I just went in with a bit of extra gold and tried to fix that a little bit. So then next I'm going to go in with my um, bronzer. And I've been loving the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And mine is like the little one. I bought one of the small ones that they have. You know when you're like checking out of Sephora and they've got all those little things? So I bought a small one at first because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. But I love it. Um, and I took that on a MAC 109 brush and just did that all, did my contouring, I did, you know, the cheekbones, and I start back at, like, where my hairline, um, my, the top of my ear, my hairline, and then I drag it down towards the corner of my mouth, uh, however you like to do your contour. This is not, this is a brush that I use, the MAC 109, it's not my favorite, it sheds a little bit, but I really like its size and the way it blends, but I'm not, it, it sheds a bit much for me, so I'm looking for a new contour brush. Um, and I also took my contour up in my hairline uh, by the tops of my forehead, uh, down the side by my temples a bit, and just across the very top of my forehead and along my jawline, just to help add a little bit of dimension to my face. Uh, you don't have to do all this, you can if you want to, but I like the way it adds a little bit of dimension to my face. Um, and then after that, I am going to go in with a blush, and for this I am using my Real Techniques um, I think it's just called the blush brush. Um, and I'm going back into the Smashbox Masterclass palette again. And I am using their, like, pinky blush in there. It's called Rosy Pink. Um, not too much because the blush is really pigmented and obviously the eyes are doing a lot in this look. And also this blush has a little bit of shimmer in it, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I did want to use, like, a pinky blush. Um, so I took just a little bit of that, started on the apples of my cheek, worked it out. A little bit in. I don't like to go too far in on my blush. Makes my cheeks look rounder, which I dislike. Um, so just a little bit of that um, right on the cheeks. And then next I took my Makeup Geek Shadow in the color Mocha, I believe is what it is. Um, yes, in the color Mocha. And I just used that to fill in my eyebrows. And for that, I just took an angled brush. Mine is an Estee Lauder brush that I got. But just a, whatever angle brush you have, um, fill in your brows with that. And I like mine kind of dark, but you don't have to do them as dark as I do. Mine are already dark to start with, obviously. My hair is really dark colored. But just fill in your brows however you like. With whatever color looks best.
And I also don't like to put a wax in my brows. I mean, sometimes if I'm like going out, going to be out online, I'll put a wax in them, but not typically. Um, and then I just went back in with the fluffy brush again and blended out my shadow a little bit. Um, so next, I am going to go in with an eyeliner so I can line my eyes. Um, on the top, I am using MAC um, Pen Ultimate Eyeliner in Rapid Black. And that's like their felt-tipped um, marker eyeliner. And typically, I go for a winged eyeliner. It's my favorite. But with this, the eyes are so busy with such bright colors. Um, I decided not to do the winged eyeliner, and I just lined all across my top lash line, try and keep it as close as possible. And I did that on the top of both of my eyes, obviously. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this eyeliner. I've had it for a while, used it, sort of forgot about it, and recently just brought it back out again. Um, I feel like I like it, but it's the tip doesn't get as black as the base, which makes sense because that's where the, you know, pigment comes from. But I don't really, I don't really like that. Um, so I don't know. Use whatever eyeliner you like. You typically use a gel, but today I use this. Um, so just all along the top lash line, keeping it as close as you can, you know, straight line. Typical. Typical eyeliner things. Um, so then after that, I went in on my bottom waterline. And for that, I used my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the color Perversion. And I love this eyeliner. It's super pigmented, just so black. It's ridiculous. It's, oh, and it's creamy and it's beautiful. Um, you have to be careful with it. It is like so pigmented. It might bother your um, eyes just a little bit. Um, so be a little careful if your eyes are a little bit sensitive with that one. But it's gorgeous. If you can, if you can take it, then doesn't bother you then get it it's awesome um so then I'm going in with a highlight color and I am just using Makeup Geek's uh, eyeshadow in the color Shimma Shimma uh, whatever you have light colored shimmery things like that and I took that on a MAC brush and my MAC brush that I used there um I don't have the number on that one it's like a small fluffy kind of angled brush whatever you like to do your highlight on um, and I took that on my inner corners and a little bit along my brow bone. Oh, just kidding, I do have the number. That one's a MAC 275. Um, just highlight. And then I went in with my um, Urban Decay um, Vice 2 palette. And on that one, I took the colors Prank and Madness. Did a little bit of each of those colors, and I took that on a small brush just to drag it under uh, on my bottom lash line. And the brush that I was using there was an e.l.f. brush, and it's called the Smudge Brush. I like it. It's just really small, and it gets under there, smudges really nicely. So I just took that along my bottom lash line and just a little bit up onto um, that outer corner. You can see I, like, pop it up with that other blue just a little bit just to make it, you know, cohesive, make it, like, fluid so it all goes together. Um... And that color combo I really liked on my bottom. So then next I am just going to curl my lashes. Um, my eyelash curler is just from Sephora. It's pink. I like it. It works. Um, whatever you have. So I'm just going to curl my lashes and then I go in with um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Lash Mascara. Um, I am not really sure how I feel about this yet. I like it. I think... Um, I don't know, I have to wear it a bit more. So that, coat of that on your lashes, and then, um, usually when I go out, I like to do a waterproof mascara, too, so I went in with, uh, Tarina Tarantino's, uh, waterproof mascara, which I love that mascara. The brush is so fluffy and big, and I love it. It's awesome. So, went with that over my Better Than Sex. And then my um, bottom lashes are really weird, um, so I went in with uh, Benefit They're Real because I really like how the end of the brush is like rounded and has the little bristles because that will get to my bottom lashes because they're just, they do weird things. So I put that on my bottom lashes. 
And then I went in with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and I took that middle color on the palette which is Incandescent Light and I took that on a Real Techniques setting brush and I just highlighted uh, top of my cheekbones just above the highest arch on my brow and my cupid's bow. Um, just highest points on your face to get that going. Um, and then I went back in to my um, Smashbox The Masterclass palette, which obviously I love it if you can't tell. Um, and I took the, the lip color in Bitten. Not really a big nude fan, but obviously I wasn't going to do something crazy on my lips with the way my eyes are looking. So took the color Bitten, put that all over my lips, and that was pretty much it. Oh. I just, I've got those little beauty marks and they get all washed out when I put my foundation on.